I am Olivier Robin, and I will play the first movement of the sixth sonata of Beethoven.
good. Um, I don't know how much of it is that I'm sitting right where the piano is. Um, but in terms of sound, I think we have to think in, in, in sonatas like this, be very aware of the fact that we have a tiny instrument and there's a huge instrument here. Of course, at, in, in Beethoven's time, there was a different instrument, but it's still a big contrast. Um, and what that means is I feel often that sound-wise, you're a little bit late, even though it, it, technically it's not late, but when you have entrances, I need it to kind of catch my attention. Cat, the ear has to go to your sound a little earlier. So that means a little bit anticipate your entrance, just mentally, also sound-wise, that, that it's clear. Also think about you know sound production on a piano is much more vertical than we, we kind of like to ease into things, which for some users is okay, but if we're playing together with a piano, sometimes that needs to have that clarity at the beginning of the tone. The front the bow, and also often from the left hand, I find the left hand a little bit late with vibrato. I would be, of course, you don't want to use a lot of vibrato in, in, in Beethoven, you know, still ended the classical period, but the thing about the vibrato is it gives t the tone resonance that helps you, you know, have a presence with, it, with the piano. Um, so be careful about leaving it too blank without vibrato. You know, even, even in pianissimos, like right before the return there, I would give it a little bit of that, cause just because that provides resonance for the sound. Um, maybe I move this here so we can look together. So yeah, and of course all these pianos are somewhat relative, the, the dynamics here. You know, we're in the bad lage, a, ba a, a bad register for projection. So it needs to kind of speak very well right from the beginning there. Uh, of course on the E string, then it's easier for the sound to go out. But in D and G, make sure you always have con contact and, and um, core to the sound, even if it's accompanied. So let's, let's try a bit from the beginning. Something like this, that you're immediately showing this entrance there. Yeah. And can you, can you, with the left hand, I mean, a little bit of life there. Yeah. Um, and the crescendo, something like this, I think can have a little more of inevitability that it's gonna get there. So, yeah, so here. And then you have a bit of a dance there. If we do two, it's, it's very straight. So. You know, so it really has this buoyancy there. Can we try once more from the beginning? Um, at the end of this bow here, don't lose sound. Keep, keep the sound going there. Not so much an accent, I think it's more of a preparation. You know, I'm almost, I'm basically playing from the string. If I do, it's actually late, in the, in the, you know, for our ear, and, and that's right here. Of course, you have to think way back into the hall when they're going to perceive that tone is coming out. So, good. Just, just from the second theme then.
a tricky little theme to play here. <laughs> Again, make sure the first note has good quality. And then here we have duels, duolas, so two against three. I need you to be a little bit more insistent against the, tri the, the triplets there. You play. So we really hear that, that conflict, even, even though it's technically still piano. But immediately hear a little more definition there. Can we play from your melody? As you go down, generally the tendency is that we'll diminuendo as, yeah, so think actually crescendo down there. And again, not too early with the, the decrescendo, just acoustically talking here. Um, I, and I think this is a bit funnier here. That's rizzando. It's a little bit too nice. You know. This is finally we have something big to play, so we in, we can enjoy it a bit more. Um, whereas a couple bars before that, yeah. Good. that acoustically if we play we're providing a left hand accent on the second note but I think the phrasing is that first note is actually more interesting so make sure that the left hand is active there otherwise we just we don't think about and, and we don't take care of the left hand there so what happens is, is a completely different gesture um, yeah, and here, where are we, where are we? Again, I would, can you try to do the same thing and not take too much time with that? And then here, maybe a little time. But don't, don't make your life too easy in this, in the, you know, in Beethoven by giving yourself that time to make a supito or to, often he, it's more effective if we have the extremity of doing it right in tempo. Um, can we just do here? These staccatos have a little more character. You try exaggerating this articulation. You play very nicely, but it's a little bit too nice. You know, the, we have to be a little extreme with these things to make it, again, come out to a big concert hall. Um, just a couple bars before that. All the way to the, you know, practice. Because right now I hear all 
Well, there's going to be a piano. So, and then you know, we've already played piano in our head. And what happens is then on, with the bow and with the violin, we play piano here too before it happens. So we have to train ourselves to not, to, to not know that it's coming, because they don't know it's coming. Yeah? Uh, what's more simplest? To me, you're not you're not completely present for the first note. You should have okay, and I have the answer. I want you to be immediate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, afterwards it's good, but it needs to be to immediately catch our attention, both in terms of you know musical and emotional presence, and also sound. Otherwise, it's a little bit late to the game, and compared with the piano, then we don't really have a chance. Things like that, you can save even a little more. If you have more bow, we don't feel like we have to press to get that crescendo. Sometimes what we do is, oh no, I have to make crescendo. And then we get that sound. So, and, and the release of the bow there gives it you know, an emo uh, emotion that if we do, it's simply a dynamic thing. Oh, da, 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 it's, and so we get more of a gesture that way. Um, I would say the same thing with all of these here. Here, that it's good, but you could use actually less bow on the long note because the moving notes need that motion. If we do, it's very much from the downbeat, and we want to have a longer phrase there. Um, could we maybe play from one eighteen? And if you want to have the crescendo, make sure that the one that with the crescendo that you really get to the frog at the beginning of that stroke, because otherwise you're making life even, even more of a challenge to get get that uh, crescendo. Yeah. Lots of bow here. hand is sort of, oh, now I'm started. You know, it sort of immediately has uh, this, this feeling to it. If we do, we're just playing along. So it's, it's, it's a little bit, I don't know how to say, it, it, it needs to, in the rests while the piano is playing, don't let any kind of tension go away. You're playing, it's almost like you're playing the piano part and then you come in with the violin part, but you don't kind of wait around and then, oh, okay, now I play. Because then, then sort of the, the, we lose the, 
the attention to the violin part there. Let's from the return from the reprise. <laughs> try once this is very nice but not taking time on each two bar thing maybe on the last one but you that you pass it back and forth but we keep the long idea going yeah 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 because I, I feel it stops every two bars here um, I mean of course here sure but do we have this ping pong back and forth and maybe only at the end you show it so much back to A major. So that it all fits together. Otherwise, it's a little bit yeah. broken up again. So that's something I always look for is, is ways to keep a big idea rather than right. one, you know, one important big idea rather than too many not so important small ideas um, is, is, I think, something always to look, look for. Um, and I've, I think it's been more convincing that way. Maybe we just try the very end. Yeah, also off the tie, yeah, not, it's almost too late, yeah, but a yeah, and I anticipate that change a little bit. Yeah, good. Try a little more in tempo in the, in the last four bars. Yeah. Um, maybe play the same thing again. That's, that really helps yeah, da, da, that we think through it. Uh, if we think yeah, but a little, little, it gets broken up. Yeah, da, 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 da. One, a one bar phrase, a one bar idea. Maybe that now is exaggerated, but mm, bum, bum, ba, until there, yeah, and then you can take time to the last bar. But if we do, mm, bum, 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 da, 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 we've sort of, you know, I always think we've telegraphed to the audience, hey, it's the end, um, and we need a little bit of that surprise that, oh, uh, boom, that's that's all there is there, yeah. So so think a lot about. This, this question of acoustically how to relate to the piano. Um, I think, you know, I think in Beethoven's not as it's also useful to think about the sound production of how a piano makes sound and sometimes try to play violin like a piano, you know, in terms of that clarity of attack and articulation, especially if you're playing a line together with the piano. And of course, the pianist is also thinking the same of how to play like a violin, and that makes the real duo. Um, Otherwise, it's sort of an un uneven battle because, you know, the, it's a huge instrument. The, the, the acoustic possibilities are so much more than what we can produce on a violin. So we have to make a real good prof profile. And a lot of that um, is that immediate presence with the sound, that the, with the sound, the character, and just from you emotionally, that when you come in, you're 100% there, not on the second note, on the first note already. That, that, that's, that, uh, that is clear. And then that, that gives everything a little more um, stability in, in the interplay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much.